uh, we have today one game uh, of the Snagwitz Mirror Double Illumination uh, organized by Aurora and it's going to be with two uh, Keyforge Portugal players J. Philippe Egg against Hugo Svid, also known as Jester Head and they're playing round 4 uh, right now they already did the, the Snagwitz Mirror and uh, this is the two decks they picked Philippe will go with the uh, Double Generosity Tota deck with also two Myers Nizember, two Proliferators then a uh, very decent Santum with two Grey Riders uh, and a Mental of Zealot and a Lord of Vota and also uh, a nice um, AOA this with one Tesmo and this deck has an interesting lock with the two Grey Riders, Tesmo and Mental of Zealot On on the other hand, uh, Ugu, or just ahead, brings a double Ronnie with Kimura Eclipse and Ethan Run with the brand, a lot of Amber Control, uh, besides the two Garcias and two Frames in the Stealth mode here on Star Alliance, and uh, maybe not the fastest logo, but it has a Dizania, which is also very nice against the, the Proliferators. Um, so this will definitely be an interesting game. Whoever wins goes to the semifinals. And, uh, well, I'm going to commentate the game uh, as it goes. Just saying that they, they can start playing. Uh, I guess uh, Philippe will need to, to prepare uh, the general so once that deck gets going. Uh, it can get quite fast. Uh, well, I imagine that Jeff, uh, Just Red will try to, with all his Ember control, will try to keep him in the low Ember count when he's expecting the, the generosity to, to start. Another glimpse at the decks. Not a lot of board control here on, uh, on Yugo's side, uh, but a lot of tools nevertheless. Let's see who starts the quickest. Uh, both decks have a good deal of uh, efficiency, but uh, of course the efficiency here is dependent on the, the generosities. Both looking at their starting hands. Uh, I imagine they closed the hand. Yeah, closed hand, so we can't exactly tell what's going on. Uh, we'll have to keep with the what they play. A wormhole technician to start out the game, and Philippe starts straight ahead with Mars proliferator, Mars in December, and Martian generosity just to draw four more cards. He draws at least one additional Mars card, Flix finger. and uh, Mothership support. Uh, basically try to keep the pressure high and see if uh, Jester Head has a, a way of replying straight away to this Mars or not. Double frame, zap to put damage on the proliferator and that's it. Uh, Philippe will go to Sanctum to also make a board. Sir Maris, double Sir Maris, and the uh, Hallwood Shield, Barrister Joy, so <laughs> definitely no reaping, and a Lord Golgotha, a very strong Sanctum Bard right now. Uh, I imagine that uh, if Jester Red doesn't do anything about this board, um, Philippe is probably uh, going to call Sanctum again to control the board. Let's see what how it goes. Uh, Jester Red deck 
as a, a bunch more upgrades on Star Alliance can also help out with the, the board staying together. Here it is, the Universal Translator. So you can also use this Wormhole Technician. It fights. Now it's big enough to fight Barrister Joya. So now we can weak world with the Wormhole Technician. The, 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 the Ember gets captured by Worms and Marrows. It was not a Logos card that uh, was revealed, so it gets archived. And now with the other frame, just rips, and there's no Ember left to capture, and that uh, Ember gets captured on Sir Marrows on Philippe's side. Philip goes back to Sanctum, Shield adjusted to not get damage, Lord of Volta fights and clears out two creatures, Sir Mary rips, and the other Sir Mary rips, and the smite is played to kill the, the last frame. And uh, Philip closes the turn with four Ember against Jester Head's three Ember. Jester Head goes to Shadow, Inky Gloom for no ripping on Philip's turn, Ronnie, Agarmugger, and that's it. Philip now will probably try to, to cycle a bit more of the cards and go to a different house since he can't rip. So he goes to this, call the weak to clear the Ronnie, to avoid the Kimura Eclipse, discards Ember Imp and plays a Tasmal. Always a scary tra threat having a Tasmal, just one creature to, to fight it back. So let's see if uh, Jester Head has a, an answer to this. He goes to Lordos, goes with the Ivar first to look at the top three cards. Let's see what it discards. This card's car car and long fuse mine, so a bit of board control. Uh, Quant, Disania for no effect, and an information exchange. He hasn't gone to check yet. And Philippe goes back to Sanctum. Mental of the Zealoton Proliferator to rip and archive a Martian Generosity. Very well. And I imagine he's going to control the board once again with uh, Lord Bolvota. I will chill so it doesn't take damage. Clears two creatures and does three damage to this Enya. Fights the Igor and the other Sermeros also fights. Um, and a Grey Rider is played so he can reap again with the Proliferator. Very nice. And uh, does he archive Mothership support for a bit more board control? So this is becoming to a, a very scary board on uh, Philippe's side. And uh, there's not much board control with the long few mines already discarded, Zap played. Uh, there's not a lot of answers except the Kimorex Eclipse, which is played right now. And uh, at least it tackles the Polyphrator and the Tesmo, which are big threats. Too much to protect. And discards the brand and goes to check at six. Philippe goes to Mars. There's no board on the side, so Mars needs Ember won't be of an effect. So I don't know if there's any Ember control left on Mars, but I believe not. So probably Jester Head is going to forge. Okay, but the Mars needs Ember means that Philip now has uh, almost the entire deck in his hand. And another Proliferator with the Arvester. And he fetched the other proliferator. Now on the other side. Very, very scary board. But Zero Ember for Philippe and Jester Red for just one key. Uh, but now we'll have to deal with this board in some way or the other. Sismo Entangler. He cannot delay. And discards Quen to avoid the Martin Zember again. So I imagine Philippe can go back to Mars.
and reap for a bunch. Martin's Ember for no effect, just for the Ember Peep. Harvester for a double reap. Probably, probably for it will probably go to Martin's Ember. I imagine that's one of the, the major Ember controls in, uh, in this deck. And maybe the Martian Generosity as well. Gizani was already played. Shockworm. And another Martian Generosity to make sure he has the entire deck in his hand. Archives of Martian Generosity. Reaps, reaps. Another ship support. And he also archived another ship support and goes to check with six. So that goes to Shadows, Trust No One for two Amber and a Spike Trap. And discards the Magna Knife again to avoid it, it getting archived by the Collector Worm and used with the Martin's Amber. Philippe wants to cycle now a bit with this. Get the Tesmal back to be a threat. And the Life Orb as well, yeah. Discards the three states, plays charrette, gives three chains with the binding irons to Jester Head. Plays the dust imp. Discards the amber imp. Plays the tasmal. It is exhumes. To play Grave Rider, discarded by by Yerk, so you can use the Tesmo straight away and take uh, like a Star Alliance from um, from Jester Head. And. Um, if uh, Philippe can play next turn, I know he, he hasn't put the, the other Tesmal around the Grey Rider. Takes out logos. Next turn, if he plays the, um, he goes to Shadows. Ronnie, hit and run. Kill the Tesmal. And play the Ronnie again. But a lot of, of options here on uh, Philippe's side. Although he hasn't forged his first key. Philippe is deciding. He still has a bunch of uh, Sanctum cards in his hand.
goes back to Mars. Pops the life ward, mothership support. To deal damage, I imagine, to the Ronnie. And to the Grey Riders, so you can then play them together around the Atesmo. Uses another Martian Generosity. I believe Philippe wants to win the game with the, the Tesmo lock. And it goes to seven. Back to check. And now just draft can play any creatures. Just red plays logos to take rip. Can't rip with Mars. Plays a graft to win one ember and disguises the Python Guardian. He wins the, the ember from uh, Philippe's foraging. And I imagine Philippe now goes back to this. No, he goes back to Mars. Even with not being able to reap in Mars. To use again the mothership support. To kill the Dustin. And the rest of these creatures. So you might see another Martian generosity. To cycle things back. Now Charette is also exposed to the spike trap, although we won't kill it just with that. Again, Philippe has the, the whole deck in his hand. Plays the rest of the Mars cards for Amber. Uses again the mothership support to clear a bunch more creatures. That will be uh, he might have distributed the damage since nothing appears to be killed. King Ken and Stealth Mode, then goes to Shek and discards Garcia. With Stealth Mode, there's no Mars Needs Amber available here. And um, Charette was already played. So I don't think Philippe has much Ember control left. Nope, just the Shuri. So it should be a Forge here for, um, for Jester Head. Uh, with the spike trap here in play and the seismo entangler, uh, the king can doesn't have much effect for now. All houses are represented in the board.
with staking carefully not to get around the um, the stealth mode Rip Sermeros, Rip Venom Sermeros, Rip Lord Volvoca, he has the Smite. Put a fight, Barrister Joya. Grey Rider. To archive the, the King Cam. Scars the other girl rather. So you can exhume it later. Scars healing blast. Scars shield of justice. Okay, doesn't want to make much ammo. Since uh, Jester had has redrawn, he back again has the too much to protect and uh, the graph. So it makes sense. Waller Mole to play a car car. Now that's a target for Marnie's Ember. And Philip has two of those. <laughs> and that's what uh, <laughs> Ugo didn't like because now that's a target uh, for Ember control. Anomaly exploit, cutthroat research, so keeping it at 7 is also a below cutthroat exo research, and use a CI's main tangler to take Mars out. So Jester Ad will get one ember from the graph, and now sits as 5 ember, and Philip forges the second key. goes back to Mars, it has archive one generosity that you can use, just needs to make some member first. Without leaping with Mars. And now realizes that uh, Jesse has used Seismo Entangler uh, last turn. Yeah. And it wants to switch houses. Yeah, go to, goes to this instead to use the Tesmo and a bunch more stuff. Schuler to steal one. Rips with the charrette. You can play the life ward again. There it is. Yurk. Discard the smite. Binding irons to give free shames again. Discard Zamber Imp. Discard Street Fates. Place Tesmo. Place Dust Imp. Cold Week. Kill Karkar. So we won't use it for the Marnie's Ember, but it's already at 6 Ember. And it will exhume the Grave Rider so he can rip with the Tesmo to take, I imagine, Shadows out. Yep, take Shadow out of Jester Ad and goes to check with 7. I don't know if uh, Jester Ad has any Ember control left besides Garcia's. No, it has in Logos. Ah, information exchange because it has stolen from the previous turn. Uh, Igor first.
permission exchange, discard set and guardian, Swiss Marine Tangler again to Mars, no, to this from Reaping, so we can't lock him out of Shadows next turn. <laughs> Be saying that maybe should I've used the three fates for one additional amber and one of my arrows get destroyed with the an anomaly exploit. And now, Philippe, uh, does he have any amber control left? No, no. Philippe should have made one more amber. Uh, to avoid the, the information exchange. And uh, with that, Jester Red wins the game against this crazy board, but with little uh, Ember control also, but with also with the little board control on Jester Red's side. Uh, Philippe can't also make um, one damage to Igor. He can only make two damage, so he can't just uh, do one damage and then do to Mars and Zember, uh, to um, to Igor, to to as Ember control. So yeah, I also don't see any other Ember control here on Philippe's side. No, it was just the uh, Schuler, Shred, and uh, Mars and Zember. And I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, now, uh, Jester Ed will move on to the semifinals against Karen. And um, Philip is still trying to see if there is any other way he can go around this. If he turns King Can to. Just read the archives, the Igor, but there's no amber control on the can reap now with Tesla to take again. Uh, Smite, yeah, makes a ton of amber, but he can't take one amber off just red. So Philippe will go to the loser's bracket and will have to win, uh, I believe, two games um, to move to the, to be able to go to the final against who wins, Karen versus Jester Head. A very interesting game. A very odd game, but very interesting game. Thank you for watching.